Hey, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. Now, uh, I want to talk about a little something, something today, and that something is sex. Sex. Yes. Now, a recent article came out in uh, the on Thai PBS World. And I guess it had to do with, let's see here, the Thailand Health Department, one of their recommendations. Uh, and that recommendation is to avoid sex in case of COVID-19 risks, Thailand, Thailand's Health Department says. That's the name of the article. Thailand's Health Department has recommended that lovers and spouses avoid sex if there is a risk of getting infected with COVID-19 and avoid sex with strangers. Now, the only thing I would say about that just right off the bat is um, if people are asymptomatic, like your spouse is asymptomatic, maybe you're asymptomatic, and you have sex, how's that supposed to work? What are you supposed to do? You're just supposed to say, well, there's COVID out there, no more sex. Because, I mean, really, when you think about it, the problem is the asymptomatic, that word. If your wife is asymptomatic, if your girlfriend is asymptomatic and you have sex with her, well, you can get it. But how are you going to know? You're not. only way you're going to know is if she's sick. You know, if she's, uh, if she's got a cold, a flu, she's got some of the symptoms, then you go, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't. But generally, if somebody's sick, you know, I mean, sometimes, maybe you go at it sometimes, but... Uh, Many times, you know, it depends on how sick the person is. Maybe they don't want to. So that's neither here nor there, you know. But it says the director of the Office of Reproductive Health at the Health Department, Dr. Pirayut Sanakun, said today, this is uh, a couple days ago, that having sex during the spread of COVID-19 infections is a health risk, and therefore they should consider the risk and consequences to themselves and others in society before having sex. Um, maybe that's why the bars and the pubs and the go-go's, they're all shut down because, or most of them are shut down. Well, they're supposed to be shut down. Um, they're all shut down. They're supposed to be shut down. If they're open for some reason... Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, but you never know. Who knows? There's always underground stuff going on. But I would say mainstream, like in the entertainment areas of, say, Bangkok, and throughout the rest of Thailand, 99.9% .9 of the places are shut down. So, that means no people going into bars, picking up some chick, and then going and having sex with them. But that doesn't stop them from making a phone call and saying, hey, come on over, babe, or hey, let's meet over here and let's go at it. Now, you don't know where they've been. They don't know where you've been. You could be asymptomatic. Maybe you just picked it up a couple days ago. You don't feel anything. And then you pass it on to her. So I don't get this, okay? Uh, hopefully you get where I'm coming from. I think you do. He said that if a person is tested positive for the virus, well, that's a different story, or is awaiting the result of the COVID-19 test, they should refrain from having sex until they are cleared of the disease. Well, I mean, I would think that that goes without saying because they're not supposed to be around people. But, I mean, like, it, it doesn't seem like this, this release of information from the health department, <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's anything we don't know already. Um, I mean, you know, uh, people who are married generally have sex. Uh, I don't know. Some people might not, but generally I think they have sex. People who have girlfriends, you know, at some point they have sex, right? Can you see it now? Everybody's upset because they got to go outside and wear masks. They're stressed out because they have no job. Uh, and yet, oh, you know what? We know you're at home and uh, you haven't been out, but, you know, you, have, you might have the virus, so you can't have sex. And you actually might, because you go to the grocery store, you go somewhere, you might pick it up, you're asymptomatic, and then you pass it on to your girl. So I don't get this. I mean, you know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. That's the way I think. Now, if you've tested positive or you're awaiting the test because maybe you think you might have the virus, well, then I would think 
people, I would hope most people are smart enough to know, uh, maybe I shouldn't have sex with my partner, and maybe I shouldn't be close to my partner, maybe I should be wearing something or having something in between us, like I'm in another room or I'm staying in a hotel or whatever it might be, if you're that worried about getting sick. Because some people, if they get sick, it might mean death. So, you know, it's a personal thing, but... Yeah, I don't get this article, all right? Dr. Period also warned individuals to avoid having sex with strangers to reduce the risk of getting infected, adding that anyone who is worried about having sex could access the Thai Save Thai website for risk assessment. I'm sorry, but Thailand sure seems to me to enjoy being Big Daddy. They ensure they uh, they really enjoy telling people what they should do and not do. Uh, we all know that uh, teenagers around the world have sex now. Teenage pregnancy is a big problem, and Thailand has tried to address this. But people are still going to have sex. It's as simple as that. Men and women they want to bone, they want to have fun, they want to love each other, they want to turn on some Barry White. They want to go down to the little uh, knock shop. They want to get a girl, and they want to turn on the Barry White. Can't get enough of you, babe. And, you know, they want to go at it or whatever. So I really don't understand this article. I find, to me, it's, uh, it's a bit hard to understand. Now, there's a photo of a couple sitting at a, a beach, and it says um, a couple sits by the beach in Playa de de Tijuana, Baja, California State, Mexico, on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2021. Despite the beach at Playa de, de Tijuana is closed due to COVID-19 restrictions, many couples and visitors made their way to the beach for Valentine's Day. See, listen, when it comes to the love aspect or the carnal desires of many people, if you don't feel really sick, at some point, most healthy individuals are going to be saying to themselves, you know, it's normal to get a little something, something. So, I don't know what the point of this whole article was. And I really don't even know what the, part, the point of this video is. But that's all I have. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Choke the jerk and my. That's uh, good luck and see you later. And if you wouldn't mind, please leave a thumbs up. Hey, comment. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe also. That would be good. And everything's down in the description. Tune in next time. And uh, I'll see you guys later. All right? Ciao.